Joining me now is Centre Alliance Senator Rex Patrick, live from Adelaide this morning. Thanks so much for your time, Senator. We'll start with APRA. We will get to super. But you think there should be a complete clean-out. Why shouldn't those responsible for the mistakes of the past be charged with fixing it? Well, because uh, we, we've had very senior people inside APRA. Uh, you know, the chair is paid $886,000 per annum. The deputy chair is $709,000 per annum. These people are given responsibility. They are vested authority in law to, to execute those responsibilities. They need to be held accountable. Uh, now, the current chair has been at the helm for the last five years. And we find that the performance of APRA has been woeful. Uh, that, uh, that's a finding of the Royal Commission. And yesterday we saw a report come out that talked about variability of leadership, uh, lack of contestability, lack of transparency. Uh, you, you, you can't take uh, uh, these high-paid people and let them get away with perfunctory performance. Well, we've seen a hit back today from Wayne Byers. He said... He's the head of APRA. He says that they just simply don't have the resources and funding to do what Graham Samuels has suggested. Well, that, that, is just, uh, that is just rubbish, actually. Uh, uh, the chair has uh, authority in law to uh, oversight the financial system and uh, APRA failed to do so. Uh, the, I'm, I'm sure he's a little bit worried, uh, but that's, uh, uh, that's to be expected. I, I think uh, Senator Hume, who has uh, basically stood up for the chair, has made a fundamental mistake. She's a new minister. I like uh, Senator Hume, but you do not permit perfunctory uh, uh, conduct uh, by senior officials because it sends a message right across government that you can be uh, average in the way you execute mm. your duty and you're OK. But APRA only has around 600 employees. The banks have tens of thousands. How can you expect a body like that to do all the things that you want uh, without... And they're saying they don't have enough funding. So is there scope for more money to go into APRA? You don't have to uh, be perfect in your role, but you have to take the resources that you have and you have to use them well, and that has not occurred. And that's not Senator Rex Patrick saying that. That's the Royal Commissioner saying that. That's a, uh, a, an APRA capability review finding. Uh, it's simply not good enough. And uh, to, to blame lack of resources, uh, in my view, is, uh, is shirking responsibility. OK, a few other things around today. There is an important building meeting in Sydney. It will get underway shortly with the Federal Minister and the relevant state ministers. Would you categorise what you're seeing in the building sector as a crisis? And what do you think needs to be done? Look, we have a problem uh, with cladding on buildings. Uh, you yeah, know, we've got basically buildings wrapped in, pe in petrol. Uh, now, all of this started back in 2014 with the La Crosse Docklands fire in Melbourne. Mm. Uh, at that point in time, the Building Ministers Forum uh, uh, committed to act. They did very little up until uh, 2017, where we had the Grenfell fire. Uh, again, they committed to, uh, to do something. And now we're at a point where the insurance companies have had to step in to force action. All the way along the, the, the track here, there's been underperformance by, uh, by both the federal government and, indeed, uh, the, the state government ministers responsible for uh, making sure that the buildings that Australians live in are safe. You did some kind of deal or non-deal. I don't know how the government wants to categorise this. They didn't want to be seen to be horse trading over any legislation, but you were pushing the government to do something on Australia's gas reserves at the time uh, to get these tax cuts legislation passed. Uh, you spoke to the government and voted in favour of these tax cuts in, in order to get something done in the electricity market. At the time, we were told an announcement would be weeks away. We're now a couple of weeks down the track and haven't seen anything. Are we still holding our breath? Uh, look, uh, yes, Centre Alliance uh, pushed for changes to, uh, to, to uh, the way the gas industry works in, here, in Australia. It's a cartel arrangement and Australians are suffering because of 
high gas prices, which then lead to high electricity prices. So we've worked with the government and they've uh, spelt out a, a range of draft policies to us and they will be announced over the next couple of months. And I said that in the Parliament two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, what has to happen is we need to, uh, the government needs to work through the drafts to turn them into finals uh, and then they will go to industry, they will go uh, to, uh, public with their policies uh, to execute them. Just finally, the Prime Minister is focusing on drought today thanks to a Daily Telegraph summit in Dubbo. There is a piece of legislation that was introduced in the last sitting week of fortnight. It's yet to be debated and that is legislation to stop what have been described as militant vegan activists storming uh, farm gates. Is that legislation you will support? Look, we are likely to support that. Uh, the finer details of that are being looked at by my colleague, uh, Rebecca Sharkey. However, uh, you know, we, we uh, respect the right for people to protest, but we don't uh, uh, think it's acceptable uh, for people to basically uh, uh, march onto farms in great numbers, intimidating people. Senator Rex Patrick, appreciate your time this morning. You're welcome.